What's up guys, it's Dave and Don. Happy Thanksgiving. We're out here walking around in this mud, sinking deeper and deeper. I'm wanting to go over there. I just don't think it's possible <laughs> where I'm at. Look at this huge piece of clay. of a clam. So this is looking a little bit better than last time. Here's what it looks like uh, maybe a modern horse, a stragglers. Definitely not fossilized, but let's keep going and see what else. A lot of shell out here. A lot of shell. A lot of limestone. I wish I could just. Wish I could just pick that hose up and blast the bank with it. There. <clears throat> so I believe this red material looks kind of oily as iron. Um, and I've known this to be good spots to look. I've always had pretty good luck once they get into this layer or once you start seeing this mineral around. Um, there's several things you look for when you're out on a land site and that's one of them, I guess. And typically this color rock right here. I guess which would be the color it is from being, uh, having so much iron in it. But typically we have good luck when we uh, find those iron deposits in the, the yellow rock and a lot, you see a lot of it scattered from being pushed out with a dozer, which is unfortunate, but it's the nature of the beast. We lost our shoes. There's another one over there. This place ate the last fossil hunter that was out here. Keep 
up uh, in this area right here. So we came over here to see if we could find anything else. And we started in this bank right here and found a piece of jaw. And there's still bone up in there, so we're gonna try and dig out what we have. found that rib bone when I went back and double checked the area found a piece of whale jaw and whale tooth so like I said you don't always find the big megs but it's always an awesome trip out here <laughs> 